Ladies and gentlemen, there is something ironically stinky. Something smells really freaking bad down at the Marxist conference today. And no, it's not the fact that these people don't take showers and take care of their personal hygiene. It is the fact that they are hypocritical. Let me enlighten you about a little person named Che Guevara. Che Guevara is well known for being a communist revolutionary in Cuba. But there is one thing that stinks. There is one thing that we wanted to call him out on today down at the Marxist conference. Che Guevara was racist and homophobic. The quotes that he spoke about when it comes to black people, when it comes to homosexuals, uh, he's not exactly the social justice warrior the left likes to portray him as. He's kind of the opposite. He would be literally Hitler if they could see exactly what he was like when he was, or if they were around when he was. So, happy to present to you today Neil Erickson, myself, and a couple of others decided to head down to see what the Marxists were up to today and to ask them if they would condemn Che Guevara for his homophobic and racist rhetoric or whether they would um, like endorse it. But instead they've done something that the left has not managed to do ever and that is actually shut up. They have remained silent the whole time we were there. This is iconic for the left to do because usually they're the ones that scream in your face. But for the first time, they put their big boy pants on and decided to go down and be silent. So we're heading to the Marxism conference. You, you won't believe this, but there's an actual conference where people talk about how to overthrow democracy and capitalism and implement uh, an ideology that's killed millions upon millions of people. But one of the people that they're supporting, one of their idols, is a man by the name of Che Guevara. So today, we're going to try and give him some uh, information um, that states that uh, Che Guevara is not a social justice warrior like they like to proclaim. He's actually a racist. He hated Africans. He thought that they were below Europeans. So we're going to go in there and let them know how racist their ideology is, considering that they come to all of our events and call us racist for critiquing our religion. So this is an actual racist, this is their hero, and let's show them what's what. Catch us. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are currently at the um, Marxist 2018 event, and we are talking about Che Guevara, this hero of the left, hero that is racist, is homophobic, and, Oh, mate, it's so funny that, you know, there's one set of laws for um, the left and another set of laws for everyone else. So keep tuned and hopefully um, you can see exactly what the left is like at these events. This Che Guevara, yeah. he hates the media. And he's uh -huh. quoted a saying in his diary, we must eliminate all papers, all news, we cannot make an um, revolution with a free press. <laughs> so these are the same people who complain that um, we had no free press in Australia. Yeah. Victoria uh, College of the Arts. There's already police here. We'll check it out. We'll see if we can get in. Pick up, boys. Oh, yeah. He's got his awesome hoodie on. Senator Slayer. I mean, which door is Centre it? For in Centre for Indigenous Arts. So we're at the wrong, the wrong left-wing arts building. There you go, Chief. I'm trying to get into the uh, Marxism forum. How do I get in through here? Are you the forum? I recognise you. You're a Marxist, aren't you? How do you feel about Chief Guevara being a racist? Ever thought of moving to North Korea? <sighs> it's funny they hold a public event, but they don't want to talk. That's the funny thing about it.
I love how they wave signs in the streets, they do public events, but then when a camera's in their face and they're getting attention, <laughs> they're gone. Look, I, I know that chick, I've seen her before. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I think she's seen you that. before too. <laughs> yeah, I know. She didn't want to hear about Che Guevara's racism. Oh no, of course not. So, she's off to a safe space again. She's off to a safe space. Are <laughs> you getting the cameras ready, oh, guys? Here we go. those magnificent examples of the African race who have maintained their racial purity thanks to their lack of an affinity with bathing. That is racism. You support a racist. Have seen their territory invaded by a new kind of slave. You support racism. It's pretty clear cut. So you, you rally against us in the streets calling us racists for being critique, critiquing our religion and yet you support an outright racist against Africans. Nothing to say? See, they have nothing to say. They're a bunch of cowards. You don't care that chains. He was a homophobe too. I didn't put that in this. He was a homophobe and a racist. Your hero. Oh, you look angry, buddy. You look angry. Are you okay? I, I think I can see steam coming out of your ears. You know, are you angry because you just found out that Jay was actually KKK? Is that, why, is that why you get angry? <coughs> you know, it's a well-known fact that Che was racist. So you people standing here in support of Che Guevara are absolutely disgusting. Absolutely reprehensible. You people stand and support an outright racist. He, he, he almost should be David Duke. You're a support of David Duke. You support an Adolf Hitler. Cowards, that's cowards for you. Cowards, you're all loud in the streets, but when it comes to information about your heroes, you shut up, you don't say anything. Yeah. You support Jake Barr, Jake Barr, Jake Barr, Jake Barr. Do you want to overthrow democracy? Do you want to overthrow capitalism? Hey, what show was that? Um, Z. He's not a very nice guy. He seems to bag out blacks in Africa. The black is an indolent and a dreamer, spending his meagre wage on frivolity or drink. He's almost David Do. You support this guy. Let's talk to any guy. Chain. 
Chay is KKK. Chay is KKK. We're here as patriots to prevent you from furthering this racist agenda. Patriots are welcome and racists are not. So we're telling you, you're not welcome in Melbourne with your racist bigotry in your books supporting this David Duke character. See, as you know, these communists, they're outright cowards. They're willing to scream in the streets when they outnumber people by 200 to 1. But when they're here, you know, probably outnumbering us by 6, they're cowards. They can't say anything. Look, she's even got a megaphone. Can't even say anything. Because they know, they know I'm right about Che Guevara. Che is KKK. And they so know she's gay. And Che is gay as well. That's a fact as well. A homophobic gay man. They're getting reinforcements because they're too cowardly to have a dialogue. Are you angry with Che? Are you angry that your Lord and Saber was actually a racist? <coughs> It says right here in his personal diary that he was a racist, he hated Africans. He was homophobic as well, and a mass murderer, I know that doesn't worry us, but he was actually a racist as well. I'm sure that could worry us. Do you think Africans spend all their money on booze? Because that's what Che thinks. Che thinks that Africans don't bathe. Are you angry and upset about finding out that Che or Lego is uh, actually a racist? A racist welcome. You look angry. Are you angry at Che? You are, aren't you? I'll be angry too with my way to saying this kind of stuff. I'm against racism. What the steam's coming out of your ears too, mate. You alright? <laughs> Guys are usually tough when there's uh, faces in the streets. What's going on? Nothing to say? The Ramones. How come you haven't got your Che Guevara t shirt on today? No Che? No Che? Did you know Che was KKK? It says here yeah. Che is KKK. <laughs> they used to lynch Africans in America. They used to kill them because of the colour of their skin. And Che agrees with this. Che says that Africans are stupid. Do you agree with Che? How, how do you think Che will feel about you? Che would be happy if he did that. Because Che believes that Europeans are more advanced than Africans. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it more for Jackson? You can take heels and get skin grafts as well. You can do it. Che didn't say anything about rangers. I think you're alright. I've seen you before. Right. How are you? Chai white Asians? Chai white Asians? Do you reckon Chai supports homosexuality? Bunch of hypocrites. Just get close ups of their faces. <laughs> Get a close-up. So I can mark him as racist. Yeah, troll. Oh, you got that one? Yeah, I got that one. Alright. You got that one? Alright. I'll get a side profile, I'll get the ears. You got the ears? Get the ears, yeah. Alright, get this one. Uh, Not enough though. Did Che believe in uh, fat shaming? 
wonder if he did. I wonder if it was a fat shamer. What do you reckon? Oh, mate. No, Jake. He definitely was. Did he judge people on crazy eyes? I wonder if he did. I don't know, you look like you have crazy eyes too. Thanks for watching that one. Do you reckon he judged people on their, their music, um, the music they listen to? Rainbows and Unicorn ones. Well, he did judge people on their, their skin colour. So. Oh. I don't know what colours he into. Do you reckon he judged um, chicks who had pink or purple hair? Definitely. <coughs> Shay is KKK. I think he's jealous of too much beard. Yeah, I reckon? Yeah. He's jealous. He, he could never grow a real beard. That's yeah. why he'd be jealous of this guy. Look, it's just this one. Do you reckon he was against um, people with red hair? Oh, Gingers, yeah. I think, I think he thinks they don't have souls. Yeah, I reckon too. So. They don't believe in souls, so they couldn't be right. Do you reckon you judge people because they're, I'd say dark skin, but I'd probably more so say ugly? Yeah, well, yeah. Look at Chase. So. Yeah, some sort of mm. ugliness. You went to South America, didn't you? So. Ooh, Do you reckon they judge Strong people on uh, being old? Do you reckon he was an ageist as well? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah. He, if you were old and couldn't work, he'd throw you with a tip. Yeah. It's very, they're very capitalist on What oh. about if you were Asian slash um, gender neutral, binary, lesbian, bi? What about that? Oh, he would have been confused at a fuck. Do you reckon he would have deported her? Uh, worse. Deportation costs money. Oh, okay. I don't like to spend money. What about if you were shy and you wore big black dark sunglasses and wore like a red vest to prove that you were communist, but still you were non-binary? Uh, Chase is all sort of weird, kinky shit, so you know, that red stand out like a bull. What about if you were uh, Ranga and you had long hair and you basically um, were too scared to talk? Do you reckon you would judge someone like that? Oh yeah, he didn't like pussies. What about if you uh, had blue eyes and earrings? Oh. And you're a man, you had an earring in the right ear. Because he was a homophobe. And oh. those earrings had, zoom in on them, flowers on them. Flowers. Do you reckon uh, Che would have been a uh, discriminate, dis discriminate, how do you say? Discrimination Discrim against discriminatory for his um, um, pro homosexual agenda? Buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. It's very interesting to see. So, is this how they're going to march when they march everyone into the gulags? Just, they're going to stand like this and start putting this in the gulags to, to execute us. Because you know communism has killed over 20 plus million people. It's never worked. What do you mean? You can call it socialism, call it what you want. It's never worked. But these people, they always pick the weakest of the cult. So I'll look at these people here and I'll say, these aren't going to be doctors. All right, I, can, I can just pick that right now. They're not going to be doctors. They're not going to be um, scientists. They're basically the dudes that are sent to school by their rich parents. And uh, basically what makes them really And then they go on the streets attacking patriots for trying to protect this nation. They call us racist. But they're the real racists. They have no meaning of the word. It's all buzzwords to them. It's all buzzwords. It's all racism, fascism, us not. Unless you take Guevara, of course, because then racism is acceptable. Yeah. Hey, he's tucking in his shirt. Get that on camera. Uh, uh, uh. Quick, he's tucking in his shirt. Does he have a, a communist flag underneath his shirt? Check it. Oh. Yeah, what I forgot. Do you think mass murder is okay if it's against uh, capitalists? <coughs> White people, Christians, doesn't matter. Why can't we all just get along? That's what I want to know. Because you can't Why is there so some? much hate from these people? Yeah. You know? Capitalism's evil. Capitalism sucks. Well, you can go to North Korea. You just want to go to North Korea or Venezuela because it's actually been implemented correctly in Venezuela. Why don't you go there and like eat like um, rats that have run into your house or something? Because that's what you'll be living on. You'll be living on rats and scraps. Well, that's all. You ain't a bunch of rats anyway. It doesn't work. Oh, he's the hamburger one. Karen, how do you like Che Guevara? You like?
<coughs> Not talking smack now, are you? You found a missus yet, buddy? Keep looking. I was out in here, Sue. Why don't you go home? Do something more constructive. Stephen Jolly's going to get two votes. 100% two votes. He's got to read it. Dreamers. Paul used to be more exciting. You should go stand in the city and paint yourselves grey and get money for like being statues and shit. You can make money off that. You can pretend you're a bowling ball. Racist like Chuck? I thought they were against walls, mate. Yeah, they're only the wall. against walls when somebody else wants to build them. All walls are bad. Gotta keep walls in Mexico. Did you class us as Mexicans? Are you being racist like Che? Yeah, you know like why they're not talking? Because Che hated the media as well. He said here, it says Che hates the media. So we we must have... eliminate all newspapers. We cannot make a revolution without free speech. Uh -huh. Neil. Or with free speech, sorry. Yo. Someone wrote a pretty funny comment. Lol Trump wants to build... Oh, get out of the way. <coughs> Lol Trump wants to build a wall and they knock him, yet they have a socialist wall there. Yeah, this is a socialist wall even out Mexicans. Patriot this is Mexicans. a communist wall. Let's call it what it is. The borders are pretty closed, like North Korea. How many of you want to use a red shirt? You can throw it out. At least take one today. Put it in your pile. It's Chase, no, no, no. No, he turned away straight away on that one. What is your chance? Why are you losing chance? Patriots are welcome, racists are not. Patriots are welcome. Racists are not. Patriots are welcome. Racists are not. Can I borrow someone's megaphone? No, I guess not. Cruise walls work, I guess. So who thought up this tactic of just standing here? It actually makes us look weak and yellow. Whoever thought of this tactic, you should remove as leader. Like a whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, mate. You know the game. You can't talk. You just spoke. Huh? You're going to get reprimanded. Are they going to take you out the back of the Marxist headquarters and whip you? Did the sheep will kindly say something. Oh, Bushes, let's make this a game. Whoever talks, I'll form up. <coughs> and I'll make sure I'm writing into a dossier so you can read it later and you can whip me. Because I know you did the whip me. I know that. Hey, I busted you again, mate. I'm not going to tell you again. You can't be talking in the silent protest. This is a wall to keep out free speech. No, I'm talking for you. Ideas. So many dull, sad faces in this crowd. But he's happy, you don't give a shit. He huh? supports him 100%. These guys, what's, you know, these other ones, I don't know, maybe 60 70%. This guy kept talking. I don't think he's 100% on board. I know that bloke is up there. What? I love her, I love her. He is. He's dead. And, and, and Kim Jong Un's cousin. Is that his cousin? Yeah, it's his cousin. You sure? Yeah, she's escaped, pretending to escape, and she's come to Australia to implement his uh, ideology here. Oh, she's smaller. Oh, she's smaller. So, you, when, when you get to this point, when you get to this point, you, to this point, you should make a conscious effort to start shaving. Don't <coughs> give up, shave it. I mean, they just shave it right off. You know, who cares? No one cares, man. The fascists are here. They're going to take my hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what happened to the hamburger. The hamburger? Yeah. She ate him. We're trying to I'm teach him that Che was actually a racist. Hey, Blair. Where's Blair? Where's Blair? It's Blair. Where's Blair? <laughs> DBC. Who's <laughs> angry? Uh, just Asia. 
We don't, we don't beat people up. We don't do that. I do believe that um, this should be a conservative form. Do you reckon there should be a conservative form? Protesting against the conservative form if you, if you had the chance? Would you support a conservative form? Would you support um, advanced hair? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm just joking. Would you support a conservative form? Would you support a conservative form? Would you support a conservative form? Do you support a conservative form? On the TV show Queer Eye for Straight Eye. Do you support McDonald's being banned? Or a conservative form? Would you support um, a conservative form? I like this guy. I like this guy, he's actually cool. Dedication, dedication. All right, boys, I'll leave you as alone. When I'm coming back, we're going. All right, have a good day. Enjoy your free speech. See you. You have the right to remain soft. Shut the fuck up. Not today. <laughs> no, I mean, no, but usually, we used to do the UPF rubber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You turn the camera off. That's right. Um, we used to do the UPF rubber. And they used to come out <laughs> to the streets and protest. See, for the first time, the left has actually managed to shut the fuck up. It took them a while, but you know they've reached that point. It's better to be, you know, to be silent and actually listen to people. But you know, I don't think they were listening. I think they were just triggered by the fact that I'm speaking a language created by white people. But um, yeah, I guess it takes too much energy to talk. Seeing they can't find the energy to work, how the fuck are they supposed to talk anyways? They had two megaphones there, but they couldn't be fucked using them. Seriously, they could shout me down, they could shout Neil down, everyone else, but. They just chose, you know, and to be silent. And I think I think that's awesome to protect your safe space through silence.